I'm going to show you now how to use the email function that's located in GVTC's Angel. If you'll go to Communicate, you'll see an email capability that probably is very similar to one that you currently use in your personal life. Under Course Mail, you have the ability to view your inbox, to send a quick email message to users um, currently enrolled in your course, or to read messages. I'm going to go to View Inbox so that I can show you how to view, read, and compose a message. Once you open up, you'll see an email program. Over on the system folder side on the left-hand side, you'll see anywhere that you may have stored drafts. You'll see your inbox. It will tell you how many unread messages of how many total messages you have, any messages that you've sent, and any messages that you have put in the trash. Let's go to the inbox and read our mail. Here you go. Here's one that's not yet been read. To open it, just click on the name of the sender, and the email message will open up in a new window. After you've read the message, you can reply. You'll get an interface with a text box, and that's where you'll type your reply message. When you're done, simply click Send. Now if you want to see any messages that have been sent, go to the Sent folder. And it will show you messages that you've sent in the past. Up at the top of the email is a filter. From that filter you can choose all of the courses that you're enrolled in for that quarter. So if you've been navigating in your 103 class, yet you want to send a message to someone in your math and science class, simply scroll down and click, and then click Go. There are no email messages in that folder. To get back to your original course, click the arrow again, go back to your course, click Go. If you have a message that you want to delete, simply click next to that box, and under Action it says Delete, you would click Go. That will delete the email message. When you're composing a new message, simply go to Compose New Message. And then when selecting a recipient for your email, you'll have access to all of the students who are currently enrolled in that class for that quarter. Now at this point, I'm the only one enrolled in this course, so when I click on the To button, my name is going to be the only one that is available. When the course is fully populated, you as a student would have access to all of the other students as well as your instructor. To select them, simply click on their name to highlight it, click To, and that places their name in the To field. Click OK, and it will take you right back to your Compose New Message field where you'll type your message. and then click Send. And even though the Compose message, oh, you have to have a subject in order for the email to send. So let's put a subject here. And even though the Compose New Message interface gives you the opportunity to attach files, most instructors do not encourage students to submit their work this way. Most instructors prefer that students use the digital Dropbox capability. If you are unsure if you can submit 
your completed work as an email attachment, please check with your instructor before you do so. I hope that this video has been helpful in helping you understand how to use the email function within Angel's Learning Management System.